going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. The body beat down here, Michael, at your most humble service. Today is Friday. Today is what? Huh? Back day. Yeah, that's right. Ye old back. So, if you recall last week, exactly one week ago, last Friday, is whenever I about cut the side of my finger off. Sorry, I mentioned. So it's pretty much held up, I'm scabbed up. And if you recall, I kind of took things easy last week and I didn't want to do anything too crazy once I did this. And I didn't even do my deadlift day, I did legs instead. But today I think we're, we're uh, gonna tackle some heavy weight. Uh, I got the easy bar set up. If you uh, keep up with my videos, and I'm sure you do, you know that I like doing bent rows with the easy bar. Why? Well, because I feel like I get more out of the movement than I do with a straight bar. Now, I know you might not look at the cambered bar, the easy bar, the same as you would a straight bar, just kind of like you might not look at a safety squat bar the same as you would as using a standard straight bar. So it just depends on your views on things and how you look at stuff and what your importance is on that type of thing. Uh, for me, uh, I'm wanting to get the most out of my row and in order to do that, an easy bar is my bar of choice and I like using a reverse grip as well. Now, having said that, I do still like to use the straight bar. It does offer you a different feel. You do feel a little bit more like you're moving weight a little bit differently from both bars. Uh, so I do like to incorporate both of them, but I do like the easy bar. And yes, I ramble on sometimes, so forgive me. So right now we got 45s on there. 45 and 15 is, wait, 90, 90 and 90 and 15, that's about 105 pounds. I suck at math. 105 pounds we got, and that's what we're going to be warming up with. I'll probably do a couple of sets of those, and uh, we're going to go up pretty heavy today because that's what I've been waiting for. So we're going to get these going, guys. I hope you stick around. I hope you enjoy the video and do your exercises, your housework, your gardening, wash your car, whatever it is you're wanting to do today. Uh, do it while you're watching the video in hopes that I can help push you to do better. And you might help me to do better as well if you leave good comments. So let's get some working out done, guys. Thank <laughs> you. 
exercise for the day. <clears throat> if you watch my channel, you know this is definitely something that I like to do. It's the two handle pull back. You got to have a way to get back away from the machine. If you have machines like this, you got to use a bench. So uh, it kind of makes it where you can't go too heavy because you don't have anything holding your legs down like you do if you're sitting up there on the actual machine with the knee support. So I can only go so heavy, but I still enjoy doing this movement because it feels really good. You get a good stretch in the lats and I recommend highly that you do that. So I'm only gonna show a couple of clips of this one. Right now I got 70 on the machine, 35s on each side. So let's get them going and uh, let's get this uh, workout done guys. set for today. I got 150 on the machine. This will probably get me right at the point of wanting to be pulled up. So let's get these done. Five, 
to work out bar none. I just love working it out. Um, now some of you are going to question my heavy bent rows and I've went over it before but here's the gist of it just like with anything that you choose to go heavy in. Number one is to get your body trained to move that kind of weight. Number two I don't care if you're moving the weight one inch you're still going to put some muscle uh, through uh, a workload. So it don't matter if you're moving it an inch or if you're moving it two feet. That's what she said. And that's really what those are for whenever I go really heavy like that. It's really to just make my body get used to moving that kind of weight. And also, like I've said before, uh, bent barbell rows have a kissing cousin, in my opinion, and that is deadlifts. So if you want to up your deadlift game, do some heavy bent barbell rows and vice versa. You want to get heavier with your bent rows, do some heavy deads because they incorporate almost the entire same muscles. So that's why I like doing that. It's fun for me and we, we all do our own thing in the gym. There are no rules. Working out is just like art. Anything in the arts, it's up to interpretation and how you want to do it. As long as you're not doing things stupid like. I think we know what that looks like. So anyway, good workout today. Uh, tomorrow I'm keeping on my normal schedule. Uh, we're getting back to deadlifts. Of course, last Saturday I took off from deadlifts because of the finger. Uh, I just did legs that day. And that was a good day too. But, uh, we're getting back to deadlifts. I don't have any real plans for the deadlifts as far as rep PRs or heavy weight PRs or anything like that. I'm just getting back to my dads. So, and then whatever happens, happens. So anyway, guys, I hope you appreciate the video. Uh, if you felt inspired in any way, leave a good comment, guys. Uh, and tell me what you're doing in the comments as well. I like to be inspired by what you're doing and it don't have to be working out, just something good and positive and awesome in your life. That always helps spread some good vibes. And uh, that's what we're about here. So anyway, guys, if you would, please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beatdown. And also, don't forget, get up, get out, get red, and do it to it. Get up, get out, get red, and do it to it. All right? We'll see you next time on the body beatdown. Have a good night. See you later, guys. Get up, get out, get mad, and do it, do it!